wanted to say really quickly before we start, start the auction, um, many of you may know all about Rachel Carson. Um, uh, when I found out that Jim and I were going to come here tonight, I just finished reading this book by one of my colleagues that comes on the radio with us all the time, Nancy Kane. She's from Harvard Business School, and she wrote a book called Forged in Crisis. It was all about courageous leaders, and one of them was Rachel Carson. So for those of you who know all about this, I apologize, but for those of you who don't, I, I learned so much about Rachel Carson's uh, life. And um, anyway, just two things that really resonated with me about her life, that by April 1960, when she was 52 years old, she had already gone, undergone multiple procedures to have tumors uh, taken out of her. And then in uh, that spring, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, which of course is linked to DDT, and she had a radical mastectomy. That was in the spring. Then in November, she learned that the cancer had metastasized. So at the time, Silent Spring was just a bunch of notes in a bunch of boxes. Nothing was written, nothing was prepared. She was supporting most of her family. She was the sole support and the guardian of her nine-year-old grandnephew. She didn't just have metastasized breast cancer and, of course, in the 1960s, pretty primitive treatments. She was sick a lot from the treatments from that, but she also had ulcers. She had rheumatoid arthritis. She had angina. She had staph infections that swelled her legs so much she was in a wheelchair for a lot of the time. And yet she managed to finish Silent Spring in two years. Uh, persevering through all this. So that was the first thing that I thought was just incredible. For those of us who can't work when you have a cold, you know, <laughs> I mean, this is a woman that, that wrote a book that changed the world in two years dealing with all these terrible health uh, crises. And the second th point uh, was the reaction to the book when it came out. And it just reminds me today, you mentioned climate change. Uh, now when people talk about climate change, you get this tremendous pushback from the fossil fuel industry or from President Trump. Well, who knows how much of it is human and all this kind of stuff, and everyone tries to make climate change people look a little crazy. Well, just a couple of quick things about what happened to Rachel Carson, that when this book came out, people called her a fanatic. They called her an hysterical woman. They called her a communist pawn. She wrote a shrill tract. These two quotes really struck out, uh, stuck out for me. Isn't it just like a woman to be scared of a few little bugs? Yeah, and this one is even worse. Uh, this is an actual quote about her. Well, she's a spinster, isn't she? Why is she so worried about genetics? So before she died in 1964, and she was just 56 years old, as most of you know, she gave this famous television interview to Eric Severide on NBC News. 10 to 15 million Americans turned into that television interview, and they were horrified that was in 1964, and of course, as Patty mentioned earlier, eight years later, the United States of America banned DDT. So Rachel Carson prevailed through it all and won, and I have no doubt the little bit I know and I'm learning about uh, Silent Spring and everybody's efforts here, I think 46 years later, um, the people here will prevail and will win as well.